Peace and love. Call back in, black man. Call back in. FBI and CIA is messing up the live feed. FBI and CIA is messing up the live feed. Shannon, Chip. what up, brother Shannon, what's good? What's going on, brother? What's going on, brother Shannon? Where you joining me at? Where you at in the world? Um, I'm from Rhode Island. Rhode Island, where at in Rhode Island? In Providence. Providence, I was in Providence in 2015, just before Minister Farrakhan's 10, 10, 15 March. So it's been about four years. I got to get back to Providence. I got to get back there. Man, yeah, you do. The brothers, brothers fact, can need you to come out here and talk. Before you go, let me throw this on you, Shannon. I'm going to be in Hartford, Connecticut, Sunday, May 19th. Malcolm X's okay. birthday. Malcolm X's birthday. Hartford, Connecticut at the Artist Collective. I'm saying Is that, that going to be on your site? Yes, sir. I'm saying that to say that if you could help me find a venue in Providence, a spot that can seat about 250 to 300 people in Providence, I will come to Providence the day before or the day after Hartford, Connecticut. Can you inbox me that, that information, like yes, what sir. you need, your specifics? Okay, we on and it. I'll, and I'll put it together. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's your question or comment, Brother Shannon? Um, I just chimed in, man. I just really want you to keep going, man, because yes, I watched you over the years, and I'm happy that you're out there in the forefront doing what you do. Appreciate you know, putting that school together like that. I just want to, I just want to say thank you for, yes, for leading the charge and all these people that, uh, for lack of a better term, hating on you. And you, I just, I'm happy that you kept going. Yes, sir. I'm happy that you didn't stop and and allow these people to stop you from doing what you do. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I so appreciate that, brother. Just keep I going. I'm on the clock right now, but yes, just wanted to shout you out, man. Just keep it up. Will do. Thank I you. I appreciate man. you. Be safe. I yes, appreciate you. Lake All right. All right. Easy. Bless. Strong, strong, strong. Hartford, Connecticut. First time in town. The King Kong consciousness is coming to knock down Hartford. Malcolm X Day, May 19th. Hartford, Connecticut. Y'all better get ready. Cleveland, Ohio. Saturday, April the 27th, Cleveland, Ohio, King Kong Consciousness is back. Syracuse, New York, Sunday, April the 7th, Syracuse, New York, Buffalo, New York, Saturday, April 6th, the Prince of Pan-Africanism is coming. Let me see who else. See else we got. Let me get back to Elevation. Let me see if I can get Brother Elevation back. I don't know what happened before. Brother Elevation, I don't know what happened, brother. I don't know what no, happened. No, it, it was probably my end. But listen, uh, I'm going to ask my question real quick. I love you, Monica. I don't know how much of, of what I said earlier you heard. Yeah, I heard but I love you, you Monica. Heard. Yeah, brother, that's powerful right there. I want to tell you, man, uh, I appreciate you not just being a man of, 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 of many words and eloquent words, but being out here organizing, man. That's what we need. Yes, sir. Um, some kind of way i'm gonna plug into the movement oh for sure uh, definitely what you're doing i consider myself a pan-african as well yes sir a pan-africanist as well but i wanted to ask you earlier you were building on um on jesus and um one of the things that i always struggle with is this notion that that jesus was um uh the result the product of some immaculate conception Mm -hmm. And um, I don't really realize, I, I, I don't really understand why that part um, has to be in the narrative. And and it, it, it really just defies what I know about nature and, and, and about God. And, and more important, um, you know, there's so much. There's so much they, you know, that they propagate ab around that that story, you know, in order to trick us. So I just want to know, according to your research and what you know, um, what would you say about the Immaculate Conception? Uh, I would say that your premise may be right and exact, and I say that because Dr. Yusuf Ben Yakin, one of the fathers of the study of African history, he said that prior to the European Council of 325, uh, what was that, AD? AD, that's correct. Prior to the Nisqy Council, it was always believed that Jesus was born of a man and a woman, that he had a physical father. 
thought that it was not until the Nicene Council that they changed it and said he was of Immaculate Conception. So your premise, okay, absolutely correct, that Christ was not born of an Immaculate Conception. That's correct. That's correct. And 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 that's but that was absolutely my research too. And and it just occurs to me that if that if that part. There's so much, even starting from the way the Bible was constructed, even from the books of Moses with, with, um, with, um, excuse me, one second, baby, one second, baby, give it to her. Okay, 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 I'll take it, we'll give it to her later. But, but starting even with Adam and Eve, what it, what it looks like is that the European wanted to make a more male-centric society, whereas you know our traditional African society is different. How can you have a, how can you teach a young black man to love his woman if all he goes back to is in the beginning is that Eve messed it up for all of us? Exactly. And then exactly. even beyond that, and then even beyond that, you know, the lowering of, of characters like Mary Magdalene and, and even uh, Mary, the mother of Jesus. And, and we see some we see some real tricky stuff they did with those things. But, you know, I believe that it's important if we're going to if we're going to teach our young our young uh, people, you know, to, to, to turn their hearts back, our young black men to turn their hearts back to black women. Yes. We're going to need to bust up these fallacies and yeah. reteach them. And, right. and unfortunately, I don't think Christianity can do it. Right. But thank you so much, brother. I really thank appreciate you, you man. Look add on, add on. If you... Yes, sir. Look yeah. The link with Black yeah, yeah. Take care of those babies. Absolutely. Peace, brother. All right, brother. Peace and love. All right. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. The only thing I would add uh, to the meditation I just had with Brother Elevation is we have to be careful within black consciousness. We have to be careful not to attack the religion. He did not do that. He did not do that. I'm just speaking on a point that has to be embraced. We cannot attack our brothers and sisters' religions. We can challenge and constructively criticize those who are open to that discussion. But you have to keep in mind that if we attack their religion with a full frontal assault, we will lose them because they are indoctrinated to believe that anyone who questions their religion is an enemy of God. Muslims, Christians, Catholics, Jehovah Witnesses, they are indoctrinated to believe that anyone who questions their religion, okay, is an enemy of the Lord. And we don't want that. We don't want them erecting a permanent psychological barrier against African consciousness. One of the reasons that the most honorable Marcus Garvey one of the reasons that the most honorable Marcus Garvey was so successful is because Marcus Garvey never attacked the religion. The UNIA, the Garvey movement, was a non-religious government for African people. Okay, It was religiously open, religiously neutral. He never attacked the religion. We have to be very careful not to attack the religion, brother and sister. Let's see who else we got with a question. Let's see who else we got here. Uh, let me see who I got. Sir Money. Y'all kill me with these names. We got Sir Money. Let's see if Sir Money going to chap in. Yes. How you doing, brother? What's going on, black man? What's good? I'm chilling, man. How's it going? I can't complain. Where you at in the world, brother? Where you at in the world? Uh, originally, I'm from Nigeria, but I reside in St. Louis now. Okay. In Missouri. St. Louis, yeah. Missouri. Yes, sir. Yeah. To, be, to be honest with you, brother, man, um, I've been following you on you and brother Polite. You guys are the, are the main people who brought me into consciousness, you know, because, um, uh, I, 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 there was one of your video. I shared a video probably 10 times. That video you was talking about, uh, you know, if, if Jesus Christ couldn't save us during slavery, during the, couldn't save us during the Holocaust in Africa and all those points, he ain't going to come and save us now. And I, I was born and raised a Christian. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And my mama, she, she, she 100% Christian. My daddy, all of my family Christian, you know what I'm saying? So that right there, you know, it kind of it, it kind of triggered a point to me. I started researching. That's when I started going back to my own African consciousness, which 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 makes me become really really hostile towards religion. But uh, uh, I'm, I'm I'm beginning to realize I can't be like that. I, I was in, I was indoctrinated just how those people that are, that are indoctrinated. It's gonna only take that little span. For them to have the, uh, you know, the 
the mentality to go back and think about it, then they can come back and understand reality. Exactly. You know, you, you and uh, Brother Polite, the you guys are the realest people in this country called the United States that I, that I, that, that, that was able to twist me back into my, 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 my normal self, how I'm supposed to think before the Europeans came and conquered our land. Oh. You know what I'm saying? And I want you to, and I want you to understand something, man. The reason why people hate you so much is because you you get you had it somewhere. I, I I follow you all the time. Trust me. All all your haters, I, I see them on YouTube, man. If you, I, I I be going real hard, I tell them. You know, one thing I understand about black people in America, they love to bring down their messiah down. That's one thing I understand about black folks in the United States. You know, and I guess that's why that's why it's taking so long for black people to be liberated in this country. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And and sometimes you have to check and, and look into the history, you're gonna understand they have been brainwashed over here to go against their own kind, that especially the ones that he's trying to help, that they're gonna be like, Oh, you trying to you trying to shine. You trying to be no no no, all of us gonna stay down here and that's why we are all down at the at the bottom of the of the of the food chain. Yes. You know, I really respect your love uh, uh, no brother yeah. man, you doing you you doing a powerful job, man. Thank Trust me. Question for you: Where in Nigeria is your hometown? Okay, I'm um uh, I'm I'm of two ethnic groups. I'm from the Igbo speaking tribe, and I'm from the Kushwa speaking tribe. Okay. So I have two ethnicity in me. Okay, and which 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 state in Nigeria is home? Okay, okay. When it comes down to my my fatherland, I'm from Kushwa State. Okay. My motherland, I'm from Abia State. Okay. Uh, my friends, where I hang out when I go to Nigeria, a new group. Right. A new group right. and Port Harcourt. Yeah, um, uh, you know those places are, you know, Nigeria is segregated into three, three political yeah, zones, Ebo. which is the Ebo. yes, which is the Igbo. I'm, 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 you know, in Nigerian classification, I'm, I'm a full-blooded Igbo man. Uh, According to Nigeria, uh, yeah. So I, I broke, I broke it down to the, to the, to the, to the least. Uh, factor. That's why I say I'm I'm, I'm too I'm of two ethnicity. But uh, when it comes down to Nigeria, it's either you are Igbo, Hausa, or the Yoruba. Yeah. That's the that's the three main political right. ethnic group. Yeah. You know, so those those areas you're talking about are my areas. I'm yeah. considered I'm considered of those of those of those people. Yeah. You know, and there was a there was a time I was watching you one time. You was talking about Nam I was like, how does man know Nam so that, uh, that that tells me you have been around. Yes, I met his son. <laughs> yeah, his and son. You, and please, you need to you need to keep doing. You know, I'm I'm telling you, when I first came to the uh, when I first when I was coming to America, I have this as, as my psychosis that I'm coming to you, reunite with my brothers that were taken from our land because everybody in West Africa know you guys are from our land. We know that 100. Yeah. percent We don't even doubt it because we know it. You know what I'm saying? So when I was coming down here, I have it. I, I didn't have no other thing at the back of my mind that I'm coming over here to meet with my brothers. So when I got here, the, uh, the I see people just that look just like me, just a little bit uh, lighter than me. Yeah. They're gonna be telling me stuff like, uh, "Oh, you, 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 I ain't no, I ain't no African. You, you guys, you, we are not the same. You, you know what I'm saying? They started doing. So then I, I, I started seeing myself going towards the. The, uh, the level of hating them back. But I have to bring myself back again. I'm the type of person who can go forth and come back and, and, and understand where this problem is coming from. Which you just spoke now, which is self-hate. They have tried so much to integrate into the society. So they will go as far as try to make sure they outbreak the black skin in them. Yes. So that they can be, they can be quote-unquote, white Americans. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And that is bad. We yeah. can't we can't integrate with these people. We can't yeah. because if if if, we, if these people would have accepted us in this land as 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 part of them, it would have happened long ago. True. Not it ain't gonna happen now because they have captured the whole place and they feel like why why would we want to share our power with you guys? So it ain't gonna happen. The 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 best thing the black people should do is support you. Make sure you come, you know, and, and you should try to extend house to Africa too. But I know you're trying to make sure you get to a certain point where you can be able to uh, extend your hands outside. You're doing something powerful here and they're supposed to be able to support you. So you because once we have a, a black a black school in the United States, 
trust me, there is going to be a lot of black cultures in, in America. Because most people, especially down here in St. Louis, man, this people are the most backward people I've ever seen on my, on, on, in, in, the, in my life. But shout out to St. Louis. My first donation, the wow. first collection that I ever took for the Frank wow. Douglas Marcus Garvey Academy, April right. of 2015, was in wow. St. Louis, Missouri. My wow. first CMG collection, St. Louis, Missouri. Shout out to St. Louis. Brother, yep. thank you. Keep in touch with me. Okay. Yes, sir. You got my number? Uh-uh. Take my number right now. Put it in your phone. All right. Hold Put on. Hold on. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, I got you now. Uh, 215. 215. 989. 989. 989. 9858. 9858. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it, man. Keep doing what you're doing, man. I support you 100%. Yes, sir. Real, real love, brother. Yes, sir. Black All right. Man. All right. All right. One love. So, yes, brothers and sisters, we got to link it up. We got to link it all the way up. Killmonger, where Killmonger at? I'm real monger, where's Killmonger? I'm real monger, where's Killmonger? Killmonger, what's up? What's up? Killmonger, what's good, black man? Hotel, hotel. hotel. Where you at in the world? Where you at in the world? ATL, man, ATL. ATL. That's like my number one. I know Chicago and Detroit don't want to hear this. But Atlanta might have they right there with Chicago and Detroit and DC and New up. York with uh major doctor of man. What's going on with you, brother? Man, everything's lovely, man. Thank you for accepting me on your live. I feel like you know, we're privileged for that, you know, and uh I've been following you, man, and I just you know, commend you, you know what I'm saying? And I can relate to all the hate, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> because I'm going to be the same shit, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, wow, what do you do? It's like you against the world. It's like, you're just trying to do what you do, you know what I'm saying? But, but you know, my dad always told me, you know, as a, as a young dude, man, he always said, when everybody hating on you, everybody got some bad say about you, you're on the right path. Yes, sir. When everybody love you and love you, you want to hug on you, you doing something wrong. Right. And, you know, picture Jews being handed to an innocent child. I didn't know what the hell he was talking about. I'm like, that don't make sense. But when I grow up, I realized, like, okay, my damn wisdom just booms now, you know? So, yeah, remember, you know, brother, brother, brother Malcolm X said, if you don't have no enemies, you ain't doing nothing important. You know what I mean? Exactly, exactly, exactly. Oh, exactly. That negative uh, uh haters are really negative admirers they really mm. but they don't have the ability to just say i really like what i see you know it's right the, right it's the envy that gets tucked in with the admiration so it becomes negative right. admiration right and i heard somebody say that the other day when you was in the interview you need to hate us so you yeah. need to hate us so you motivate but if you think about this that's like the law of the universe, though, negative and positive. You got to have negative and positive. There is no, right. there is no positive without the negative. Exactly, you exactly. Have, you know what I mean? So we got to embrace them, too. You know what I mean? The way I see it, we just got to perform spiritual alchemy on the haters. You know what I mean? You get exactly. ain't got there to, is. to come on over. You know what I mean? There is. I don't pay them no mind. Just some hating black folks, you know. We love them, too. No you doubt. know what I mean? They still no doubt, them. no doubt. And they be coming into you for the for the Frederick Douglass thing, and you done broke it down a million times. Don't get it. Do it in the day. You know what I'm saying? Like, dude. But look, uh, I'm doing something real big down here, man, on the music platform. You know, yeah, I'm a hip hop yeah. artist. Huh? What you working on? Well, I got this show. This is going down. It's going down on the 25th. Oh, uh, this month? And, uh, yeah, 25th of this month. All right, it's right here. You got a flyer or something? Yeah, the flyer's on my page. Uh, send it to me. Take my number. Send it to me. Take my cell number. Okay. And, okay. Uh, take my cell. Text it to me. Uh, 21.